Oh, yes. Hello, fellow homo sapiens. This is David Seymour. I'm your host for Lifers. And today I'm here at the Gunpowder Falls during quarantine to uh, see what I can find. Uh, I'm hoping to find uh, a lot of birds today. They're very active, even though it's really cool. It's like 42 degrees right now, 42 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like a cold snap for this time of year. It's the second week in May. So I'm gonna see what kind of species I can find. Mostly birds today, but maybe I'll find some other stuff too. Let's go. Oh, check this out. This is wild geranium. Yeah, it's wild geranium. Awesome. Check that out. Found this plant here. I'm not sure what it is. It's starting to flower too. Let's see. All right guys, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out. Let's keep going. This is a great cat bird. We got the gray catbird now. So I just found this plant too. I'm not really sure what it is. I can't remember, but hopefully we can find out. I mean, I'd prefer to get the flowering plant, but I mean, this counts as well. I think that might be a wood peewee. Oh, sweet. Look at this. This is what I've been waiting for. This plant right here is a May apple and it's flowered. Look at that. Nice. Good stuff. May apple. There's the flower. That's a red eyed vireo. Hi guys. Black and white warbler. They must have been some angry beavers. Who remembers that show? Wow, look at that. They completely debarked that tree. There's a sandpiper. I think it's a... Uh... It's either a lesser yellow legs or a solitary sandpiper. One of the two. There he is. We'll figure it out. I think it might be a solitary sandpiper. Let's try foam a little bit more. It's not every day you get to see them.
we'll find out exactly what he is. I think he's a solitary sandpiper. But he could be just a lesser yellow legs. I don't think it's a greater yellow legs because of the, their bills are a little more curved. They have a more curved down bill from their head. So I'm guessing solitary. It's my guess. He does have that white eye ring. That is awesome. Oh dude, look at this. This is a an azalea. The pink azalea, I believe. Look at that. That's beautiful. Pink azalea, or pinkster azalea. Not 100% sure, but. I love seeing it from this angle. One more plant to the list. Let's keep going. Folks, this is what you call warbler neck. When your neck is at like a constant 90 degree angle, your eyes are staring straight up into the trees. That's warbler, warbler neck. Look at this mushroom right here. See this? I'm gonna use the macro for this. There it is. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe you guys cut me out with that. Maybe like elf cup or something. It's all over the place here. Right there. Oh, look at this. Millipede. I'll lay him right here. Guys, I just found a a giant millipede. Um, I can't remember the species name. Wow, he's beautiful. Look at that. Wow, really beautiful. I said I would just find birds today, but I kind of got wheeled into this. <laughs> Can't pass up a big uh, giant millipede. I found another plant. Not sure what this, this is either. Guys, what is this? Is it trillium? I think it's trillium. It doesn't get much better than this, guys. What a beautiful day. I don't see anything. No copperheads. We'll get we'll get one though. It's only a matter of time before we get a copperhead and the timber brow snake and all other kinds of venomous animals. I just want to take this time to thank everybody for supporting me. Um, I just reached 300 subscribers last night and now I'm at like 305. And uh, I'm very grateful and thankful for everyone that is supporting me and the, tr and the growth of this channel. Um, I'm hoping with a lot of luck and uh, effort for my part 
that uh, I'll get to a million subscribers eventually. That's my main goal. If I make it to a million subscribers, I'll be happy. Um, so I want to thank you all for the, from the bottom of my heart uh, for supporting me and my channel's growth. All right. There he is. Another mayfly. Some of his eyes. Look at his eyes. What in the world? You guys see? If you think the coronavirus is bad, imagine what insects have to go through with cordyceps infections. That's a true zombie apocalypse for uh, insects. <laughs> we got lucky. We don't have a cordyceps infection that grows out of our head. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some of these guys under here. There's a road beetle. Hopefully we can get the species ID. Wow, he's cool. I've been looking for this. It's called Jack in the Pulpit. That's what this is, right here. I think it's a carnivorous plant. Kind of like a pitcher plant. That's really cool. There he is. Oh, oh, yes. Guys, we just found my favorite salamander. The long-tailed salamander. My absolute favorite. Their colorations are so beautiful. Look at that. I'm glad he didn't open up then. I was about to get out of here. Until this happened. That is awesome. Look at that. Get an image of him. I don't want to harass him too much. What an excellent find. That is just, that is just so cool. I can't believe it. I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> what a beautiful salamander. So beautiful. There we go. Guys, that's the, there he is. The black sort blue warbler. There he is, nice. That is cool. I love seeing that. All right, everybody. That that does it for episode 25 of Lifers. Uh, I think we did pretty good today. Excellent, actually. Um, found a couple of species of warbler, the red-eyed vireo, a long-tailed salamander, uh, two millipedes, and tons of plants, and uh, the great catbird. Um, yeah, I'd say it was a win. Uh, see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.